Welcome to LUTV News in Focus, where we feature interesting topics on campus, in the community, and in the world of culture. I am Stephanie Adiniji. There is a new student organization on campus, the Nigerian Students Association, was founded at Lamar University in early August 2022. This group is hoping to foster cultural unity within the Nigerian community on Lamar University's campus. Psychology major Victoria Adelago is the president of NSA. She is here today to share more information about the organization and their plans for this semester. Victoria, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, Stephanie. Okay, so tell us, what does your organization represent? My organization, NSA, which is a Nigerian student organization, represents Nigerian students mm -hmm. navigating life through college, through school, things like that. We also represent immigrant students coming from Nigeria, uh, first-gen students, um, descendants of Nigeria, you name it. So that, those are the type of, that is the demographic we are representing. Okay, so why did you feel the need to start NSA when there is a student organization on campus called ASA? Um, I felt the need to start Nigerian Student Association because I felt like there wasn't an org on campus that represented us and catered to our needs as, um, as Nigerians as a whole. Um, Lamar is a PWI and the demographic of Africans at Lamar is mostly Nigerian. So I felt like there needed to be an org that catered to us specifically. Okay, yeah, that's really understandable. So being a new student organization on campus, so how are you trying to get the word out there that you guys are new and here on campus? Um, we, we have Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, GroupMe. Um, we post all our flyers on our private, by us, I mean my e-board, on our private social media pages. We ask other orgs if they can reshare and repost and get the word out about events that we're having, having and things like that. Okay, so you mentioned your e-board because I know it's not just a one-person job to start a new organi organization on mm -hmm. campus. So how did you, you know, get your e-board members and how did you guys come about, you know, bringing this whole thing together? Because I know it was not having been easy at all. Yeah, so starting an organization is not an easy task and it's definitely more than a one-person job and it's not something that happened overnight. Mm -hmm. I had been thinking about uh, starting this organization for about two semesters and then I just had like my friends, like my eboard are my friends, um, like-minded people that have the same interest and also felt the need that NS felt the need to start NSA. So that's how I got my eboard and you know we worked on it over the summer to get it started. It was definitely not easy but we got it done. So yeah. Okay. So why do you feel that it's important for, you know, everyone to know about NSA, you know, to learn about the Nigerian culture? I feel like it's important because, like I said earlier, Lamar is a PWI and um, the demographic of Africans here are mostly Nigerians. So I feel like we need to, you know, make ourselves more known here, you know, um, educate people about the different things we have going on in our culture. Um, like coming up as our Nigerian Independence Day, I feel like that's something that we should celebrate that so that people could also know that, you know, it's not, there's more than one or two types of people here at Lamar. There's a lot of different types of people here and what we have going on. Okay, so speaking of events, so what do you guys have planned for the semester? So for the semester coming up, we have the, for the Independence Day, like I mentioned, we have a campus cleanup. We were just giving back to our community and giving back to Lamar. And then after that, we have um, a general meeting, which is called Hush. It's basically a general a meeting about talking about taboo topics within the Nigerian community, like tribalism, career expectations, things like that. Things that people don't really feel comfortable talking about within our community. Just kind of shed more light on it. Okay, so what kind of topics do you think, you know, would need for such a discussion? Uh, like I said, we're going to be talking about tribalism, um, career expectations, um, things that, you know, it's kind of like, shh, don't talk about it. Mm -hmm. You know, things yeah. people don't like to talk about. Just kind of shed more light on it because, yes, it's a difficult conversation, but they need to be had. Okay, so now for my last question. So is it just Nigerians who can join NSA or is it open to, you know, all other people on campus from, you know, different countries in Africa? Mm -hmm. So yes, um, NSA is open to everybody, not only African students, it's open to wherever you're from, because um, we just want to shed more light on our culture, like I mentioned. We want to um, welcome people welcome people into our culture, let them know the food, the music, you know, the culture, things like that, cultural norms, things we have going on in our attire. Mm -hmm. So we just, you know, want people to know more about us. Okay, speaking of food, I really hope you guys have jello fries coming up, because I'm going <laughs> to be there. Worry, we got you. Yes, okay. 
Thank you very much for joining us today, Victoria. So for more information on the Nigerian Students Association, email Victoria Adelagun at T O L U V S U two at gmail.com. Thank you for watching LE TV News in Focus. And to see more content from LE TV News, follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook.